Hello again, it's Alfie Carpenter here for Suffolk Libraries with another art tutorial video. As I mentioned before, I'm a collage artist working with mixed media to create landscapes. Uh, today's activity is going to focus on something a little bit different but still using a collage technique. The aim of today's activity is to create a patchwork of different marks and textures using a technique called rubbings. A rubbing is where you get a piece of paper and you lay it over the top of a textured surface and then using a pastel or uh, your chosen medium, scraping that across the top of it and the pattern and the relief from the texture underneath is then shown through onto the paper. For today's activity you will need some crayons or pastels. I've got some wax crayons here. You're welcome to use oil pastels or chalks would work. If you don't have any pastels or crayons, candles are your friend. You will also need some glue. Prip stick is perfect. Paper, different colours, different thicknesses, whatever takes you fancy. And some scissors. There's also the added option of using some paint at some points. This activity involves exploring your environment to find different textured surfaces. So you're welcome to do that within your own home or in your garden if you have one or if you're going on a little walk um, you can take a little piece of paper with you and something to create the rubbings with. It's a good way of keeping your eye out for different things which are around you which have interesting surfaces. This could be pieces of wood, brick, tiling, any organic surfaces like leaves or bark, anything which has got a relief to it. With some paper and some pastels, I went into my garden and found some surfaces to use for my rubbings. Using the edge of the pastel, I scraped across the paper on top of the surface and let the pattern shine through. I tried to find a variety of different surfaces which would give me different interesting patterns. I also tried to vary the types of paper and pastels that I was using. Here I'm using a candle to get an effect. You can go one step further by adding a layer of paint over the top. Here I'm creating a wash of watercolour which acts as a nice resistance to the wax crayons and the candles. Boom! So I've got quite a few different pieces of paper here with all my different rubbings on. I'm now going to use these as my kind of ingredients to put together a patchwork. Using the scissors and the glue you can create a collage in your sketchbook using any formation and arrangement that you like. I decided to create an abstract exploration. But you can try anything you like. This is your chance to be creative. 